Intel IT, we've been running a very large-scale grid computing environment. In fact, that's my background, where we run a lot of uh, silicon design uh, over a Linux grid across the globe. About four years ago, we made a decision to run an enterprise private cloud for traditional IT. And we're pretty successful. We've had it running since 2010. But we made a call a couple years ago, uh, based on our large uh, background with open source, that moving forward, we are going to do greenfield environments uh, focused on, on open source solutions. So when we focused on, on private cloud initially, it was basically with a concept that uh, since we have such a large scale inside of our environment, uh, we felt that based off of cost, uh, security, and performance, it made a lot of sense for us to continue down this path of private cloud. Um, however, as the, as the world has, has changed and clouds become more mature, we've come to recognize that, that hybrid cloud is really the way to go. Um, and this is because we have 68 data centers, but uh, I don't have data centers everywhere across the globe. So I really see cloud as part of the supply chain. So as we push forward with this hybrid offering, um, I want to be able to use these open APIs. If I need a data center capacity in, in South America, I can use one of my partners in the public cloud space. And preferably, they're using open APIs, so my developers can write once. So that's really where we're going, is pushing in the hybrid state and allowing uh, our developers to write, write once uh, and utilize public or private, um, and where we help control uh, based off cost, performance, and location uh, where they're getting their, uh, their compute and storage capacity from. So uh, about two years ago, we, we basically looked at all the solutions in the environment that was happening, and we, we made a choice and basically a bet on OpenStack. And uh, ever since then, we've been uh, pretty successful uh, running this in a production mode since uh, uh, mid-2012. And uh, we haven't looked back, so, uh, so far, working great. So fundamentally, the reason that we went after OpenStack is we're, we're trying to turn our entire data center uh, basically into software. So all the infrastructure needs to be exposed as APIs. And uh, with OpenStack, we've been running with Essex, uh, focusing on, on compute pr predominantly. But as we move forward into the next couple months, we'll be turning on object storage and block storage to basically have a completely robust uh, data center infrastructure exposes APIs. Um, so with cloud, it's a great opportunity to really uh, create an ecosystem that allows soft developers to basically run in a, in a federated fashion across the globe. I see cloud as part of my supply chain, whether it's private or public, and by turning on open APIs, we're really able to basically have a game changer where the software developers can write once uh, to many types of clouds. Um, so the reason that we really focus on the open APIs is how do we drive to a federated environment that's interoperable, meaning that they can work across any cloud and across the world, we're a global company. And then three, how do we do it in an open fashion? So these three elements together are very important to us, which is why we're taking such a, a specific step into the open stack space. So eventually, we'd like to just stop saying hybrid cloud. There's no public, there's no private. Uh, it's just this very large, federated, interoperable, and open cloud. Um, you can really almost see it as, as utility, finally, where you're really just getting electricity, um, but what you're getting is, is compute and storage, so globally across the world. Uh, whether we're doing business in China, uh, South America, and the United States, uh, we need to operate everywhere. So having this all federated so we can connect it together with similar identities, similar security, interoperable, where we can basically write once uh, or control it through our infrastructure teams uh, with one set of controls, or open, which is really how to get there, um, by enabling the industry to move up the stack from the core of Linux uh, to now have open APIs on the cloud space and really allows a, a level of innovation to start happening higher and higher up the stack um, and allows us to run a, as, a, as a global industry.